evening, everyone. Welcome to Tonal Talk. My name is Kate. I'm your community manager. We've got a super fun episode in store for you this evening with Tonal's design team. We're going to be talking all about inspiring strength through design with uh, all about our new features. Leaderboard, which you may have experienced, which we'll be diving into. Muscle View, badges, PRs, and more. So stay tuned. Tuned. In the meantime, I'm going to give everyone a few moments to join. Pin this to the top of the group. There we go. I have to apologize. The fires are really affecting my breathing lately, so I might sound a little winded. I might have to take a lot of drinks of water, but um, we're going to get through this. Um, a few updates while we're waiting for everyone to join. Yes, those are my dogs in the corner. If you can see them. <laughs> We have a new content modality on Tonal. It's a new type of class. It is a Tonal boot camp. It is all off Tonal. It's going to get your heart rate pumping. It's going to get you sweating. Super high energy, really fun. Those are with Coach Jared, Coach Allison, and Coach Nicolette. So give those a try and let us know what you think. Coach Paul also has a new program called Super Squats. So if you're like me and you like working those squats, you're going to love this program. Check it out. I believe it's four days a week intermediate program. It might be three. Fact check me if I'm wrong. Um, as you all know, what we're talking about tonight, new updates on Tonal, Tonal's new leaderboard feature. If you haven't signed up, sign up now in the mobile app. We also have heart rate summaries in the mobile app. And it is also Latinx Heritage Month this month. We kicked that off yesterday. You'll see a spotlight row on your trainer with a couple of great workouts by some of our Latin coaches. We'll also be doing a Latin themed tonal treats on September 25th with Coach Nicolette and Coach Pablo. They'll be making ceviche and guacamole. So get ready for that. And then a really fun announcement that I'm very excited to share with you is that we have a challenge starting on Monday. So I don't know about y'all, but 2020 has kicked my butt <laughs> and I'm not quite feeling my best. And so this challenge is designed for all of us who need a little reset, who need a little support to feel better physically, mentally, and emotionally. And so it is called the Best Self September Challenge. It is starting on Monday, September 21st, and it is running through the end of September until the 30th. We're going to have a separate subgroup for it so we can keep all of the Best Self September content right in there. You can meet friends. You can get to know your coaches. It's going to be led by Coach Natalie and Coach Allison. So I'll be sharing information about that right after this talk and a link to join that subgroup. Um, and I'll tell you more about that challenge in that post. All right. Now, say hello if you are watching. Hello, Julie. Hello, Mariana. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Dale. Hi, Rochelle. Great to see y'all. Let's, uh, let's start our show. So tonight I will be joined by Nina Samarguliani. She leads the Tonal Design Team. She has a goal of inspiring strength through design and she facilitates working with our talented designers across both hardware and software. She works out nearly every day on Tonal and analyzes as many NPS scores as possible and she reads every piece of customer feedback. So if you're ever wondering if anyone's reading those Feedback Friday threads, Nina is. She has launched and built and designed products for a variety of audiences and has worked hard to integrate design thinking into company culture. She's the proud mother of two young daughters, Sophia and Ava, and she lives in Oakland with her husband and girls. She's originally from the Republic of Georgia. Please help me welcome Nina. There we go. Hi, Nina. Hi, Kate. Thanks. Welcome to Tonal Talk. Um, and we also have Adam joining us this evening. Adam Schwab is a senior staff product designer at Tonal. He works to design experiences spanning across both Tonal and the mobile app, including achievements, muscle view, and most recently, leaderboard. Um, he previously, he designed for Apple and Uber, and he worked across many industries, creating uh, results for clients across the world. He loves spending time getting to know people he's making things for, and he aims to make the world a tiny bit better, one pixel at a time. I love that, Adam. Adam lives in San Francisco, and he's been living there for almost a decade, but he's originally from Toronto and is a proud Canadian. Welcome, Adam. There we go. Hello, Kate. Hey, Adam. Hi, How are you? Oh. Doing great. Need some water. A little, little time out for me. One second. <laughs> Thank you both so much for joining tonight. Um, super excited about Leaderboard. 
It is the first time we are bringing our amazing tonal community into the product experience through the mobile app, and people have been loving it. Um, it's been fun to watch the, the count on the leaderboard go up and up and up, except a little bit sad to see my number on the leaderboard go down and down and down. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's really excited to learn more about leaderboard and um so let's get right into it nina i wanted to ask you to give us a really high level over overview of how tonal's leaderboard works for anyone who is completely new to the group completely new to tonal and maybe hasn't even signed up for leaderboard yet um hi kate thanks for having us here um i think leaderboard is a great way to motivate motivate us and um, we're really particularly excited about it because it's a global leaderboard. It's not workout specific. It's also really, really inclusive. Um, all you have to do, just keep showing up. You could do any type of workout. You can do yoga, you can do strength training. We didn't want to make it just specific to strength training. We just wanted to make sure anyone to be able to participate. And we also believe that like if you're consistently showing up, it's just better for for us to help us form better workout habits. And it's really just been inspired with this amazing community that we've created here. And we love how everyone's like supporting each other and we just wanna bring this inside the product. It's a really exciting time to have, to be able to see all of the names and faces that you get to know on Facebook on a daily basis inside of the app. I love that. Um, so if you haven't already, signed up for the leaderboard. Um, Adam, how does someone get going on the leaderboard? Yeah, if you've updated your app, you should see it already within the mobile app. So just head on in there. It'll ask you if you want to create a username, get fun and creative with it. Um, other folks on Tonal are going to see it. So um, yeah, have that be representing you out there. And then you'll be able to join the leaderboard once you do that. And uh, if you're watching, share your leaderboard in the leaderboard name in the comments. I want to look out for you. Um, okay, Adam, I specifically remember when you started at Tonal. I remember we had lunch together. You might not remember this, but uh, we were hanging out, and I realized that you were the person behind all of the massive boards that were all around the office with these sticky notes and pictures. <laughs> and I mean, this was ages ago. But yeah. uh, that was the very beginning of Tonal's leaderboard, I think. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how we designed Tonal's leaderboard and what that creative process was like from the very beginning? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and I love a post-it note. It's our, <laughs> our secret weapon as designers. Um, we started thinking about a lot about what a leaderboard could be for Tonal. I know there's, there's a lot of kind of leaderboards out there. And, we really wanted to think about what the idea of like healthy competition could look like for us. And our product team really started with talking to Tunnel members there. We, we talked to lots of people about what um, competition could look like. Um, we even for over a year at Tonal, we had leaderboards that we used as a company. Um, we tried a whole bunch of things that everyone in the company was um, was being ranked up against. And some of it was really good. Some of us mo motivated to work out more. Others, um, not so much. And, and sometimes even started to promote not so healthy behaviors if we were pushing people too hard. And we were looking at like, could you do different movements over and over again? And um, when we came down to it, we started to really think about um, really having people, what's the best type of thing that we could measure that's gonna work for everyone, no matter what their goal. And that was really just showing up. And um, so we wanted people to really like um, come and, and support each other. We didn't want to have people knock each other down. So when we started to look at strength score, for example, for the leaderboard, great for new people, but maybe not great for everyone. Not everyone is super conscious or concerned with their strength score. Same with streaks. We, we looked at that as a potential way to do leaderboard. and. Um, what we found is actually people were rooting for each other to sort of fail. That was the only way you could get ahead uh, above the people in front of you. And what we didn't really want that spirit within the community. And so this rolling 30 day window we felt was the, the best kind of um, compromise we found and the best way we could start with with leaderboard and encouraging really that spirit of healthy competition. I remember we did one challenge where it was do as many goblet squats as you could or something yeah. and someone yeah. and like 
created an algorithm and like, <laughs> it was like this whole thing. People were going crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Payloff presses is like, we, we've got a lot of, we had a lot of different things that we tried early days. Uh, the engineering team was, was pretty excited about that too. <laughs> um, can, Nina, can you explain why we didn't go for a metric like volume or time under tension specifically? I think a lot of people expected something like that. And um, I know that we put a lot of thought into why we didn't go that direction. Yeah, um, I mean, one of our product design principles is to push every member to be their strongest. And, you know, it's very important for this to be very, as inclusive as it, as it can be. Um, we didn't want to pick a metric that was very personal, like strength score, for example, like my strength score is mine and yours is yours. It's, it's something that's personal. We shouldn't be competing over this. Same with volume, like perhaps what one person can lift isn't exactly, oh, it will never be the same, or maybe the, that person never even wants to lift that much. So this isn't something we wanted to like create the competition around. Um, and time under tension, because we want it to be inclusive of all types of workouts. Like we want to make sure you can do yoga or meditation, or you could do recovery or boot camp. you just mentioned. Like, I think you should be able to do anything. It shouldn't just be all about, you know, time under tension and yeah the volume is probably not it's actually been great for me because i haven't been able to work out how i normally do because i can't really get my heart rate up right now with my asthma and so i've been doing things that i wouldn't normally do i would maybe just not work out but now i'm doing stretching and mobility and yoga things that i might normally skip so that's been really really motivating for me I think that's really, really important because we don't want to just like, especially if we're telling everyone that the way you go up higher in ranking is if you just keep working out, we definitely don't want them to do like strength training sessions constantly. Like you could like change it up with yoga or something different just to keep it healthy and keep going. So Adam, specifically, how do you move up on the leaderboard? Cause I know there's like two ways to filter it days yeah. and minutes. Can you break that down a little bit for us? Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's just train more, show up more, um, and uh, be smart about it, I think. <laughs> so the main thing we're looking at is the number of workout days you've done in the last 30 days. So that's the primary thing that we're looking at. So if you show up every day in the last 30 days, you're going to be pretty high on that leaderboard. Um, but the secondary thing we're also looking at is minutes, and because um, we know that sometimes you're not going to be able to show up every day or you you're traveling or something not, not much travel happening these days but other reasons they, why you might not be showing up and so we looked at minutes as well and you can actually go in if you tap into the leaderboard and you um you tap the filter button you can actually change whether you just want to see minutes if you don't happen to actually care about seeing that that um day ranking as well so that that could change your ranking up or down um just depending on what you care about so we did want to add a little bit of um, personalization depending on what people cared about uh, measuring themselves against. Um, so yeah, you can make it up if you miss a day. And that's the key thing we wanted to make sure that you weren't feeling stressed out about going down with your rank if you didn't, um, if you didn't happen to make it. I'm not going to lie. I uh, I tested a feature on Tonal for our software team recently, and I I had my girlfriend work out on my account specifically so that I could get uh, the kudos on the leaderboard. <laughs> so I know people like me are going to game the system. <laughs> You're going to have to be like fingerprint technology to make sure it's like my hands on the handles. <laughs> yeah, we don't want any cheating, cheating on the leaderboard. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> um, Nina, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect for the future of not just Tonal's leaderboard, but how else community will be brought up, brought into the product experience? Yeah, this is just the beginning. And it's honestly, we're just like watching what's happening here on Facebook and we're just going to learn from it. And we're going to learn from what's happening on leaderboard too and what motivates people and just evolve that. But mainly it's like we want to we wanna make it very easy to communicate with each other, support each other. Uh, we want to figure out a way so that you can see each other's profiles and root for each other. And we're also experimenting some other fun things that are going to be coming. So maybe some other types of leaderboards, Possibly. not to get too specific. I always get in trouble for this, but uh, <laughs> people have been asking. They've been asking, so, <laughs> so just stay tuned. More fun things to come.
Always. Yes. It's been crazy. The amount of updates are, that you guys have been pushing out has been exciting, but hard to follow. Like, can we slow down a little bit so I can breathe? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, so Adam, I wanted to talk to you about a new feature that just launched. Our community was so excited to see it. It was the muscle view feature. This is something that has come up, I think, in every single Feedback Friday since I started working at Tonal. Uh, so why was it important for the design team to prioritize this, not just from, not just because the community wanted it, but I know that our team saw some really big benefits um, for including this on Tonal. And I just was hoping you could ex share a little bit about those benefits and the design process behind the feature. Yeah, for sure. Um, we have so many people, so many different kinds of people at Tonal and, and in our member community, um, anywhere from beginning to advanced. Um, advanced lifters, kind of, some of them just know what they're doing and they don't need a whole lot of coaching from us, and even though they still benefit from us, but especially for the beginner and in intermediate folks, things like form feedback that we recently launched um, and the, your tonal coaches' instructions are all helpful things to get the get your form right and and know which muscles you're supposed to be using in any given movement. And as, especially for beginners, having that visual cue, being able to look at the human body and say, "Oh, that's supposed to be engaging the traps in my back, um, and not so much the shoulders." And and that's the key thing I think with a lot of the the muscle view in the movement is it's this muscle, not so much that muscle, because we know engaging some muscles that you're not supposed to for movements can lead to injury um and and just not being your strongest so it's really about education um and helping people um work out most effectively definitely i mean i love looking at that little little body next to me when i'm uh, when i'm looking at my trainer now it's so fun uh, and something i thought was really cool about the way y'all designed it was that you gave three options for what the body type would be. Um, Nina, can you speak a little bit about um, how the design team tries to be inclusive in, in our design and a little bit about our design principles that I know you're really passionate about? <laughs> well, that, that's, that's definitely a good example of it. Um, it was very, very important to us that we had both male, all male, female, non-binary body types and uh, we could just be inclusive of all types over everyone um we sort of consider this pretty much anything we do like this is one of our filters like is this for everyone is this inclusive and if it's not inclusive we just got to go back and rethink it and it, it's it's about everything um uh closed captioning maybe something that we will experiment with there will be there will be things that will be coming that will be more and more in line with this and like i said we take pretty much all our designs through the inclusivity filter yeah, and recently a community member, Torsten, mentioned like, hey, y'all, like I'm colorblind. I can't really see with when the weight's on or off with this new feature. And I shared that with you guys and you all rushed to come up with a fix and um, you all took that really seriously. And so I really appreciate it. We you. really apologize for that, actually. We should have done more testing on this and then we should have released it and we take the blame and we're so sorry that happened and we'll you know, we'll do better next time for sure. So that's, that, yeah, that's what it's all thank about. You, thank you so much for bringing it to our attention. That stuff really matters to us. That's how we get better. And that's how we design the type of products that you love. Stronger together. We're all, we're all learning, uh, breaking okay. new grounds together. Um, but yeah, share, share that feedback. If you're watching, if you have if you have feedback for our design team, share it in Feedback Friday. Um, it'll make its way to our design team. They love to see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, Adam, another fun feature that I know you played a heavy hand in designing was the new badges, PRs, milestones, achievements. Um, can you talk about the design process behind those, how you came up with what people should be achieving and badges that they should be getting. And then a little bit of a controversial question. A lot of our communities are dying to have a list of badges that they can find, that they can hunt down and get. Can you explain why we chose not to give out that list? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, this is probably one of the most fun projects I've worked on um, thinking through achievements and our milestones and our badges within that whole achievement system. Um, yeah, the, the biggest piece that we want to be really loud and clear about with achievements is the milestones. Um, get that volume, get the workouts and get the streaks in and we're gonna measure those and, and reward you at every single milestone that you hit with us. Um, we've been playing with a system like that, as I mentioned before, at Tonal before we launched it. 
and people are crazy about their streaks. They want to keep those numbers up and we want to recognize that also. Um, and the badges, yeah, they're a little, they're a little bit more fun and, and whimsical and, and they're sort of like a treasure hunt. You kind of need to be a little curious. You need to have some fun. You need to get creative with the things that you're doing on tonal, um, in order to find them. Um, if we gave them all away, then, then you wouldn't have to have a little bit of that discovery and find things on tonal. Um, so I would really encourage you to try, um, workouts you haven't tried before, try coaches you haven't worked out with. Um, uh, maybe even times a day that you work out. And and when you get one, share it with the community and, and you'll help other people find out which badges there are out there. We've got a lot of them in there right now. Um, and we're going to be adding more all the time. <laughs> it's super fun. I'm like, I'm addicted to collecting them. It's great. <laughs> it's, I love that people are like, hey, what badges have you guys gotten? And then pe I, I swear, someone's going to come up next week with like a document where they're collecting a list. I promise you someone in this community <laughs> will likely make that next week or tomorrow by the end of this talk. Um, we'll so have to keep making new ones then. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do that. We, we can probably never run out. <laughs> Very true. Super fun feature. So thank you for designing that. Um, I, I want to take some questions. So if y'all have questions, if you're watching, put them in the chat box or in the um, in the feed and we'll get to them. But while you're thinking up your questions, Nina and Adam, I wanted to ask you both what it means for you to be your strongest. So um, Nina, I'll have you take this oh, no. first. How about Adam starts? <laughs> okay, Adam, I'll have you take <laughs> What does it mean to be my strongest? I think consistency and resilience. I think one thing I've learned through this whole shelter in place, being at home all the time, is there's just days where you don't even want to sometimes like get out of bed, No, never mind, go and work out. But I, I find just getting out there in front of the tonal, um, going for a run, doing something every single day, no matter how small. And I think that goes back to that whole just showing up thing um, that we, we think is so effective for everyone. Um, and, and meditating, frankly, like I have to spend the 15 to 20 minutes every day to just sit down and, and do nothing so that I can do something after that. Um, so it's really kind of a mental and physical game for me. Very true. And I know consistency is one thing that makes all the difference when you're trying to reach those goals. I, I was a trainer for years before this. And even just in my own personal strength training, if you're not consistent, it doesn't matter if you have the very best program design or the highest tech technology. If you're not consistent, if you don't show up, nothing's going to happen. So I, I thank you for designing these features that help us show up every day. And leaderboard definitely does that. Leaderboard will motivate you to keep going up and you will see yourself going higher and higher and you're just going to keep coming and doing it over and again. And it's, well, it's just fun. What's I, funny I, about I, it too is that before we started working on leaderboard, Nina would say, oh, I'm not competitive. I'm not competitive. And then we we launched it and she's she's like, oh, I need to beat Sumner. I need to beat everyone. And it turns out she's the most competitive Sumner. person in the company. Yeah. <laughs> You know, two people have been somewhere. I, I, that. I, did, I, I couldn't believe that. But yeah, you know, I actually want to say to everyone, like, if you think this isn't the kind of feature that's for you, you can absolutely just opt out. We made it super yeah. easy for you. But I mean, if you're someone like me, you might want to give it a try and you'd be surprised. Like, I think I've just gone like 100 days straight and more just because of just wow. seeing, seeing it keep happening. And it's it's just really fun. I know it's funny. You're like, that won't work on me. No way. And then I, <laughs> know, I was like, I, I don't want to see this. I just want to work on my own thing. Like, I think I know what I'm doing. But then just seeing it, it's just super engaging and really fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Nina, you're up. What does it mean for you to be your strongest? Yeah. So I did discover that consistency is amazing and it does help you create an awesome habit. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, I think to be my strongest to me, it means to be healthy, um, to be longer around for my family and children. And um, there's definitely some, you know, some level of how you look that comes with it but i've learned that it's mainly all about like you know how can you stay healthy and live a long happy life i love that absolutely um let's take some questions from the audience so we have kathy asking what has been your favorite feature to design at tonal or somewhere else um let's have adam first and then nina Hmm. 
I think I think I just said it before. I think badges and achievements was was really fun. I think it's it's one of those things where we didn't really have anything like that at Tonal before. We've had numbers that you can see of your volume at the top of the screen, but we never really celebrated those big moments. And we know like watching the Facebook community, people posting when they hit that million mile, million, excuse me, million pound um, milestone and they're pointing at their tonal and the volume ticker. And we want to recognize big moments like that and have you earn something and, 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 and be proud of it. Cause that's a huge amount of weight and, and work at working out. So yeah, it's, it's nice every day I go into the group and I see people posting the, the badges and the milestones they've earned and it makes me happy to know that I played a part in helping people recognize their success there. So, so just to be clear, your favorite feature was designing something at Tonal and not Apple or Uber. Just, just <laughs> okay, cool. <Moving> on. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> well, now, what about you? <laughs> um, Badges are amazing. I mean, those are badges and milestones are so fun and incredible. I think, I think those are those are definitely one of my favorites too. But I I think also for, there's just so much we put out that it's just so good lately, and I'm so proud of all the work that team has been doing. It's it's almost hard for me to pick. I have to say, <laughs> the forum feedback is incredible. It's great to be able to know what you're doing wrong and what you're not doing. Same with the muscle view. Anything that goes along, like there's motivation, there's also education, right? We're trying to like educate you what you're doing, when you're doing what, and how to do it better. And that's super important. And so is all the fun stuff we're doing to keep you going on your journey. So I'm not going to pick. I like a lot of them. <laughs> She's a fair mama. <laughs> um, Wade Williams asked, See if I got that right. Yeah. Wade Williams asked, how do you find the coaches? They're a great group. Thank you, Wade. Will you be adding more in the future? I'll actually take this one because I'm actually on the casting squad. Um, so Wade, it's a process of we're headhunting all the time. We're always looking for great talent. We always we have a lot of incoming leads, people um, reaching out to us to be coaches, and they go through a very uh, long process, uh, auditions, screen tapes. Um, we find out their qualifications, they program design for us, all sorts of steps um, and, and filters down and then we pick out the best coaches that we can find for y'all. So that's an ongoing process. If you all have ideas or suggestions for great coaches out there, um, there's a link on our website. I believe it's coaching with Tonal or coaching at tonal.com, something like that. It's on the website. You can find it and submit coaches for us to check out. Um, let's see if we have any more questions. Pablo says, Nina, you're so badass. <laughs> um, people are loving the badges. They say they're so pretty. Excellent job on those. Um, people are, are asking about, um, they want hints on, um, on badges and Adam, I saw you already responded. So thank you. <laughs> um, Bobby is asking, where do you see if you collected any badges? Those are, how about uh, Adam, you can explain how you can find out if you have badges. Yeah, for sure. So when you launch the app, you'll um, scroll down, you'll see your milestones and your achievements there. You tap on that, you'll see your full, what we call kind of informally, like your trophy case full of achievements and badges. Um, so you'll see what you've earned, the badges are underneath. Um, and as you discover them, you can tap on them, you can share them out on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you'd like, save them on your phone. Um, and you can tap the ones you've earned already in the past. So just because you've already gone into one, doesn't mean you can't go in again and share it and save it. So yeah, go and check the ones out if you haven't yet. I love I love getting new badges, except I think Rochelle mentioned like that early morning riser one. I just don't know if it's ever gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hopefully I've been trying to get that one too. <laughs> That's one where people are gonna start like making their kids do one of the family workouts on their account or something early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have that one. I've been I've been wanting to get that one. What what's a what's your favorite badge that you do have? The night owl. I love the night owl. And how do you get that one? You just have to work out late at night. <laughs> Adam, what's your favorite badge that you've earned? I'm I'm actually pretty badge deficient right now, but um, I <laughs> I like the one that we give out to everyone, which is the starting weights badge. Now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I will say I, I love the, the one I got for doing yoga and I'll just um, give that one straight away to everyone. So um, go, go do a yoga class after this. It'll count towards leaderboard. Go do and some do yoga. Class. 
<laughs> um, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. it it's cool. <laughs> People ask um, if there will be badges for PRs or like a way to share out your PRs. Hmm. Yeah, the, we're super excited about PRs. It's one of the, the newer things we've added to Tonal um, in those moments for earning strength, power, and volume. And yeah, they connect pretty well with what we're doing with badges. So yeah, we'd love um, to, to add badges for those in the future, but stay tuned, not yet. <laughs> um, Pablo said, is there a, well, at least you turned on your Tonal badge? Hey, for <laughs> Black Friday, you never know. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate showing up badge is, yeah turn the screen on once a day. <laughs> uh, well, thank you both so much for not only the incredible features that you designed for all of us, but for coming and hanging out with us tonight in the official tone community. Our community members love hearing from employees. They love getting to know the, the faces behind the, the tonal experience, the tonal magic. So I really appreciate you coming on and sharing a little bit about yourself with us. Yeah, thank thanks for so having much. us. Yeah, yeah. And sure giving us feedback. We love it. Thank you. Yeah, keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nina and Adam, thank you so much. I'm going to pull you out. And oh, there we go. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> and uh, join us next week for a surprise tonal talk with a surprise guest about a surprise topic. That's all I can say about that. But in the meantime, join the Best Self September group. Um, I'm going to post that right after this. We have that Best Self September challenge happening September 21st through 30th. Um, that's going to be led by Coach Natalie and Coach Allison. So be on the lookout for my post with more information. Of course, there's opportunity to win prizes. We wouldn't do a challenge without prizes, right? Uh, so be on the lookout for that and come join. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to help you feel just a little bit better in 2020. So I'll see you next week on Tonal Talk, and I will see you right after this. I'm going to post about Best Self September. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay, stay safe from the smoke and the fires if you're on the West Coast, and take care of yourselves. Go work out on Tonal. Climb up that leaderboard.